guys, so by popular demand, I am back with another video about stupid questions. Atheists ask Christians that they don't actually ever ask. So I got a cat. She's kind of psycho. So I'm just gonna pick a random page and start reading some of these questions. As human knowledge develops, isn't it becoming more and more absurd to ascribe past mysteries to the Christian God, mysteries that we now know have natural causes? Yeah. Do witches exist today? Can one be scientifically observed? Yeah, I mean, like, no one would ask that. If millions have found purpose in life through the Prophet Muhammad and the Quran, how can Christians claim to have the right religion? They can't. Be honest. Do Christians truly believe a seven-headed dragon knocked the stars out of the sky so they fell on the earth? Revelation 12, 4. To be honest, probably not. But it's in that book that's supposed to be completely and totally accurate and not have anything wrong with it, so... Technically, they should believe it. Is the Bible story of Jonah and the whale more believable than the American folklore about Paul Bunyan? Nope. If Christians have such great morals, why do they trust the Bible that says, happy are those who bash children, ones against rocks? Psalm 137 verse nine. I don't know, that's actually a good question. Which gods do Christians not believe in? All of the other ones. Do Christians think atheists are not capable of love? I don't think I've heard that one yet, but I have heard them question our morality. How could you have morals if it weren't for the Bible? Why do many Christians think America is the Christian God's chosen land when North America wasn't even known to Jesus? Because America. Why does the Bible tell us to kill children who curse their mother or father? Because clearly one of the commandments is to honor thy father and mother. I mean, there's that one about killing, but pfft. Why is this even in here? How is it possible for Santa to deliver all the presents to all the children in the world in one night? This is a question that atheists ask Christians. Why is there no physical evidence anywhere for Jesus' miracles? Probably because there weren't any miracles. If you take 1,000 cancer patients and pray for 500 of them, what do you think the rate of cure would be between the two groups? Exactly the same, given that no one knew that anything was going on, that the half that was getting prayed for didn't know because there is some kind of a psychological effect that goes behind hoping that you're gonna get better or feeling like you are. But if no one knows and the placebo effect has nothing to do with it, then the rate of cure is going to be exactly the same. Why do women believe in the Bible, which says a man may buy a woman he deflowers and keep her as his wife? This is Exodus 22:16. I don't know, it's a good question. It's pretty shitty. Kind of a dangerous police system. Did Jesus have two dads? <laughs> really? That's gay. Isn't it ironic that a carpenter got nailed to a giant wooden cross? I'm sorry, I don't think anybody would ask that. That's horrible. But yes, also very ironic. Oh my God, this question, you've gotta be kidding me. God is all knowing. So when Jesus was getting crucified, did the Christian God think, hmm, one day this will look good on a necklace. I shit you not, that is a question in here. Really, Kitty? She says right now is a good time to interrupt everything. She's a stray kitty that somehow ended up in my care, but I love her. Say hi to everyone, Kitty. Hello to everyone, Kitty. Hello to everyone, Kitty. Hello. Why do Christians choose to worship an invisible, the Christian God, instead of a visible one? They actually have the there for no reason. An invisible, the Christian God. I don't know, if I had to pick visible versus invisible, invisible sounds pretty cool. It's like an extra superpower, so why not? The Bible says incest is a sin. So how did Adam and Eve's kids have more babies? Incest. Do Christians realize that many atheists don't believe in the Big Bang? They don't? Where did they get that? I mean, most atheists that I've talked to are pretty like, scientifically based, so I'm pretty sure that the Big Bang is something that a lot of them accept or at least consider. Right, Kitty? What do you think about the Big Bang, Kitty? Why would someone want to be in heaven with a Christian God who won't allow free thought? Good question, I wouldn't want to be there. If infants who die prematurely are given a free pass to heaven, why wouldn't loving parents pray for their babies to die early? That's actually a question I can see atheists asking. I mean, if Infants automatically go to heaven because they haven't sinned, with the exception of original sin, which is a great excuse to say everyone needs Jesus, even infants. Uh, but if you think that they really do get a free pass to heaven, then why wouldn't you want to just, you know, let them go early? Because then they have a guarantee. That's pretty fucked up. Oh, there goes my couch. Why do Christians automatically equate the Earth's beauty to the Christian God? 
Probably because pointing to that shit's the only evidence they have. What do Christians think happens to butterflies' spirits after they die? No one would ask that. Butterflies? Really? You couldn't have thought of anything more interesting than a butterfly? Than a bug? Jesus, I wonder what happens to all the cockroaches that I spray. All their little spirits. And I've been going for a while, so I'm gonna end with these three because they're all pretty similar. Per capita, why do more atheists support feminism than Christians? Probably because the Bible has a lot of really sexist shit. Per capita, why do more atheists support environmental issues than Christians? Because atheists are more inclined to believe in science. Per capita, why do more atheists support human rights issues than Christians? Because the Bible doesn't really support human rights at all. It has examples of slavery, it doesn't really say much against that. It has a lot of sexist shit. Anyways, on that note, I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. If you have any other video topics you want me to talk about or if you want me to do another one of these, let me know in the comment section below. Like this video, share it everywhere. All my social media links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey kitty, thanks for interrupting me so much. Brat. Bye, kitty.